Hey guys. <laughs> I've got a um, Dollar Tree and a Dollar General haul for you today. Um, it's going to be a little long um, because I found the mother load of Christmas stuff. So just bear with me and we're going to just jump right into it. Um, there's no need for me to sit here and talk a mile a minute and explain everything. So I'm just going to pull them up. And matter of fact, I've got this in my hand. And then we're going to start with the Dollar General stuff. And um, it's a cute little snowman hat. Um, everything's going to be backwards to you guys. I apologize. Um, I had to turn my camera around this way um, just so I could see what I was doing because I'm in a different spot. And I'm not sure if I turned the camera the other way if I was going to get these in the shots for you right. So we're backwards today. So I apologize for that. But three dollars little snowman hat very very cute it just sits on a table oops got some trash on it sits on a table it's just cardboard with felt and some kind of a, a little fuzzy rope so i think this can be very easily um crafted um i don't know if you could get it done for three bucks but probably, probably close to it. Um, but a part of what I'm gonna do is probably take some of this off and probably redo it and put a different type of bow on it. And I'm actually gonna go in here and fix this glue where you can actually still see the cardboard in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is still kind of loose right here. So I'm actually gonna go in and fix up some of this on it to make it, um, to make it look a little better. So, I don't know, it just looks like it was thrown together, but, but I think this is something you guys could craft. Um, and we may even try that one day out of some of our scrap stuff. Might be an option to try to try to see if we can recreate this. So I think we can. All right, on to the next. A smaller version. Ornament. Dollar. <laughs> really really cute got some black glitter on it which is not a problem but very very cute like i said it's just a little ornament and we could probably take some of this off and redo a few things put some prettier ribbon around it um it's just got a little black ribbon around it the lower part of the hat brim here um could probably fix up and put you know get these little strings off and right here some strings See those strings? See, it looks like it was just kind of put together quick for a dollar. I mean, you can't expect a whole lot more than that. But I think we can redo this and maybe recreate these. And sorry, guys, I'm doing Christmas stuff in front of my Halloween decorations. So some of them anyway. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> And up next, you guessed it, another snowman hat tree topper. And this one is open on the bottom. You guys see that? Yeah. That just fits snugly down on your tree and makes a little hat for your tree. Now, it's all wire in here, so this thing's like a big spring inside. I don't know if I can open that up and show you. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a big spring in there. Yeah, maybe you can see a little bit of it there. Anyway, big spring, and then another wire on the outer edge of the brim here. So that's what's holding this together. It feels like a piece of cardboard on top here. Pretty sure that's what it is. Or some kind of foam, maybe. Let me see if I can... It's foam. I feel it. It is like a piece of foam up in here to give it some stability there. So again, this is something we could probably recreate. I don't know if anybody would just have a big spring laying around their house, but something you could try to recreate and make to put on your treetop. For this one was um, $5. So not bad. Still, 
not a bad deal. Um, for five bucks, like I said, I don't know if you can make it for that. So, especially not having a spring laying around your house. But you could use something different than a spring. You wouldn't have to use a spring. So, maybe you can make it for five bucks. So, all right. Let's move on to the next. And up next, I'm just going to go with this little, little thing. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know you don't want to see me. Is this little tin. I just thought it was cute. Don't mind me. I've got a band-aid. I had a bad, bad splinter. So, I think I've got it out. But the little lid comes off. It's just gold inside. I just thought it was cute. The little candy cane stripes on the outside. And, of course, get that lid back on. It's got the little gingerbread house on top. The little pull tab or little little top knot here to, to pull up. So I just thought it was cute. Something different and maybe something we can work with in a craft and idea. So we'll see what we can do with this. Oh, and it was a dollar. So hope you guys can see that. Yep. <laughs> Alright, we won't drill on that one too much because it was just something I got to to play around with. All right, let's see what else we got here. Dollar General. This was $3. It's just a little nativity scene. I thought it was cute. They had a different one. Um, one that had a little lamb laying right in here. And it was just, just a, a little bit different. The baby Jesus, I think, was laying um, more crossways than the other one, I think. But I do remember seeing a little lamb right here. So, I just thought this one this one wasn't quite as heavy as the other the other one was heavier had a bigger base on it um and i want to use this um in a wreath i believe i believe so i'm going to do with this i think i'm going to make a, a a nativity scene wreath i've always wanted a um a nice nativity scene outside so myself i've been on the hunt for those blow molds um with jesus and mary and and um and joseph and I just can't find any within my price range. So everybody wants bukus of monies for those things. So anyway, so I'm still on the hunt. And maybe I'll find one eventually. I'm just going to have to go to a um, probably a thrift store or a um, one of those um, marts, uh, antique marts, or where the, the people buy, or not buy, but they rent spots. And they sell their stuff in there. Sometimes you can find stuff in there pretty cheap. So, let's move on to the next. <laughs> and since we're on the nativity scene, we'll just use this one. I've got this wooden nativity scene. I think I'm going to put it together. And I'm going to glue mine so that it, it stays together. Um, this is all... Um, I don't know. This looks like a, um, what do you call that board? Um, it's not chip board. It's, um, like a pressed board. Um, it looks wooden on the front. I don't know if you can see the wood grain in there. Yeah. And then on the back, it's more of this press board. So, it's got some weight to it. So, but for three bucks and it's supposed to look like that i'm gonna put this thing together and i may paint mine i don't know so stay tuned on that we may we may do something with this so. all righty let's move on to the next now this year i have decided to actually maybe make a um a village scene or something on my this is like my mantle because this is a false fireplace. Um, so I'm going to treat this like my little mantle and I'm going to put my little town scene, my village scene. Um, I'll probably put my little houses that I bought from uh, Dollar Tree and I'll put them on here. And, um, and I have some other houses too that I bought from other places. So I'll probably just incorporate them and put them in here. 
So, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Since I'm going with a, um, a village scene this year, maybe, I decided to go ahead and buy a few things to put up here. And I ran across this at Dollar General. Now, it's going to be a lot bigger than my houses, of course. You see that this thing is tall to my hand. You see how tall this is? <laughs> it's probably a good um, 12 inches, maybe even um, 15 inches tall. I don't know if it tells how, the, how tall it is on here. I doubt it. No, it doesn't. I'd have to measure it to, be, to give you an exact measurement on it. But it's not little. And um, it looks like a birch tree. That's the whole thing that sold it to me was the birch tree. I've never seen a um, a lamp on a birch tree. So I just thought it was different and it was neat and it just caught my eye. And for five bucks, I thought, what the heck? And it just has a battery compartment right here on the bottom. And when you turn it on, of course, your light lights up. Let me do that again for you guys. Right there's the little light inside, which is not bright, but it's cute. It's there. So, just thought that was just super, super cute and just different. But you guys see the detail on that. Can you see all that detail? The tree even has great detail. Let me turn that around here. All that great detail. And then the great detail in the little wreath with the cardinal. Super, super cute. All right, guys. Let's move on to the next item. Now, this is something we probably can recreate. And probably do... A little better than what this price was. I don't know. But Dollar Tree has been putting out some wood plaques, little pieces of wood. Um, and I believe we may can recreate this. So, But I went ahead and bought this just because I thought it was cute. But it's like a, a church tower. I just thought it was really cute. You want to see the detail in that? There's the snow on it. All the little berries. And there's some kind of grapevine wrapped around right here. And then there's snow all on the top. And it really shimmers. I don't know if you guys can see the shimmering stuff in the top of that. But it's got big chunks of glitter in it. And let's see if we can get it to do it. It lights up. Can you see that light? Really cute for eight dollars. Let's get you some more detail here. Get closer with it. That's the side. The back, of course, is nothing spectacular. But and then here's the other side. I wish they had a window or something on this side. Um, nothing is on this side. It kind of looks like the back. So really nothing except a berry and some wraps here. But the other side, you see, has this other door on it. But I wish they'd have put a window over here. So that's something I may can add, is make a little window. It may it won't be open, but I can add and make a little window here. It would be kind of cute. So just thought that was cute. So let's move on to the next. All right, let's see. Do we have any more Dollar General stuff here? That's what I'm looking to see. Because I don't want to move on. Oh, yeah, I do have a little bit more Dollar General. Isn't that just cute? It's a little house. Little picket fence on the um, upper terrace there. Or balcony, I guess you could call it. No detail. Well, it does have detail on the back. It's got windows on the back. 
icicles or snow looks like coming down off of the um the roof there and the shingles let me get you a little closer there and it does light up i didn't i didn't pull the tag oh and it's three dollars i'm gonna go ahead and pull my tag and watch it not light up oh it don't hang on oh there it goes it changes colors wasn't that cute that's different hmm. anyway three dollars and they had two different designs so I ended up getting this one too I thought it was really cute this house here with the little porch and the little overhang and it's got detail on the back as well. Really, really cute. So you got two choices here. You got this one or that one. And let me put my tag on this one. Oh, and it already came on. So it does the same thing. Flashes and changes colors. three dollars each super cute something we make in paint and um doing a craft all right now let me make sure i don't have any other dollar general i don't think i do move some of this over here out of the way all right now for the huge huge dollar tree haul um just sit back and relax guys because it's gonna take me a minute <laughs> okay let's go ahead and jump straight into the dollar tree haul um i'll try to stay out of the camera as much as possible because i know you don't want to see me um, and because I've got so much and I've got a bunch of little stuff, I'll probably layer some up here so you guys can still see it, um, even though I'm talking about another product. Um, and I've got so much that I, it'll fill my floor up over here to my left. So I'm just going to pick stuff up, show it to you, talk about it a little bit, and then I'll probably set smaller stuff up here so you'll be able to still see some of it. All right, so what we're going to start with is um, these, I believe. These are nothing new. Um, my Dollar Tree's had them, I think, every every year that I can remember. For the last two, anyway. So, nothing new, but I just went ahead and bought a few more. Um, also, guys, I'm going to go ahead and tell you my little secret. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. Um, I... I guess, you, I don't know if it's my dream job or not. Um, but I got a job at my local Dollar Tree. So I will be finding more things, hopefully. Uh, you know, be able to find them and show them to you guys. Um, so if you know me and you come to my local Dollar Tree, um look for me because I won't be there every day. I'm just a filler inner person. Uh, mainly be working morning hours. So look for me. If you see me, say hey. <laughs> Please say hey. Um, I think it's going to be fun. I really, really do. Um, I'm, I'm super excited. So I can't wait to see everybody. That's the main thing. I'm going to get to be out there with people other people i'm not sitting at home and not having nobody um of course my husband he's usually at the chicken house or the garage and um <clears throat> it's just me and the girls the dogs up here and so i don't usually get to hang around with a lot of people so that's what exciting me i'm gonna get to be seeing all this good stuff and I'm going to get to be able to talk to people. So, stop in and see me. Um, 
It is in North Carolina. So, <laughs> stop in and see me sometime. All right, let's jump into this. Like I said, this is nothing new. This is something that I've seen for the last couple of years. So, we're going to start out with our little signs. The Mr. Snowman head. He's really cute. And he says, let it snow. I'm sorry, it's backwards to you guys. So, but when I'm looking at it, <laughs> it says, let it snow. So, and I know it's backwards. I apologize, guys. But he is cute. All right. Let's keep going because I got a lot. So, I'm not going to dwell on one one thing after another. I'm going to keep it, keep moving. Let's see. Like I said, I'll just try to stay out of this camera as much as possible. I know, oh, this is another one that they have every year. And I went ahead and got another one of him. Oops. He's falling apart, but I can fix him. No big deal. He's coming apart, guys. Mr. Santa. He says, ho, ho, ho. But his beard, or his mustache is coming off, so I gotta fix him. <laughs> now, these are new. I don't recall seeing this one last year. So, it may not be new to you. Your Dollar Trees may have had them. My Dollar Tree is stuck right here in the base of these mountains. We're kind of like tucked in between mountains. And our little Dollar Tree tends to not get things that the big, bigger um, city Dollar Trees get. Um, they do eventually get it, but they get it later. So some of you guys who haul Dollar Tree stuff, and I'm like, oh my God, I don't want that. I usually have to wait a year or two before mine will get it, and they'll eventually get it. So... And some things I just never get. So, I don't know. There's just no way of getting them unless I travel. And I'm not a traveler. So, but anyway, this little sign here, I just thought was super, super cute. With the snowman and the snowflakes. Let's get him up here so you can see him. This is Noel. Super cute. Looks like a gift tag. And it's big. Really big. See how big he is to my arm? So, alright, let's keep getting it. And this one, I don't recall seeing until this year. So, you know what? That looks like you. And it looks like the the U has lost part of its U here. If it's backwards to you, it looks like it's you. But it says joy. <laughs> Leave it to me to see that that looks like a U. With the part of the U cut, cut off. <laughs> Big tag. Glitter. Dollar Tree loves glitter. <laughs> I don't know why, but they do. All right. <laughs> okay, keep it getting it. They had some really pretty signs out this year, though. And this one, I don't recall seeing either. I mean, it, y'all may have had it and it may have been at mine and i just didn't see it they sold out and i just never knew it so but i saw it and i got it so my light ring is gonna make a uh ring on it so i apologize for that guys Let's see if i can lean it back and it says um there's snow place like home really cute and the snowman's really cute, too. I, I like him. And the edges on this thing look like they're, um, little in and out scalloped, or well, I don't know what you call that. Kind of like a shiplap look, but pieces of wood put together. Okay. Another sign that I don't recall seeing is this one. And he says, Happy Holidays. Yeah, Happy Holidays instead of Happy Holiday. Thought that was really cute. Again, it's the same, same concept here. Very, very cute. 
glitter. And you know, this glitter doesn't come off as bad as I have seen some of the glitter. So I have very little on my hand. So that's a good sign. <laughs> Literally a good sign. <laughs> no pun intended there. All right, here's another one that I thought was new, but may not be new to you. So, but it was new to me in my Dollar Tree. This house believes in Santa. Very cute with the Santa hat. And the Santa at the bottom with his reindeer in sleigh. All right, now I'm thinking these are, I'm thinking I saw somebody else haul these last year, but my Dollar Tree never got them. And if they did, like I said, I didn't see them. And, but this year I saw them and I grabbed them. And this is the little um, trailer sign, sign, excuse me, trailer sign. And with that, they had the red truck. So I grabbed this one too because I didn't get this last year. Um, if they had it, like I said, they may have sold out and I just didn't get one. So this year I got it. And of course, the little trailer can go behind it. So, I'm excited about these. So, glad I glad I could um, get these this year. <clears throat> it's better late than never. So, all right, let me get some of this out of the way. And they had the tinsel truck, and I didn't get one. Um, because I think I did get, I think, I'm pretty sure they had the tinsel truck last year. And I'm pretty sure I got the tinsel truck. Um, but I did not get this. And this is a tinsel, um, trailer. So I got this, um, like I said, to go with my tinsel truck that I'm pretty sure I got. So if I didn't, hopefully they'll still have some more when I go back to work. And I can grab one. So, but I've just got to check to see if I've got one of these. Or got, got the truck to go with it. <laughs> and while we're on signs, we'll just go ahead and fall into these. Um, I don't recall these ever being at the dollar, my Dollar Tree. So, very big. Very cute. Move that out of the way. Let us know. Got the plaid scarf. And we got a Santa. So I don't recall seeing these at all. So glad I got these. Like I said, better late than never because some of you guys probably did get these and we just didn't. And I got the elf one. Happy holidays. I just thought he was cute too. So I got an elf. Why not get it all three? Okay. Is that all the signs? I think that's all my signs. I may run into one or two that I've stuck in. Oh. Here's a sign. That I got with the elf. I thought he was cute. So Santa's elf see everything. Just thought he was really cute. So I grabbed him. So I'm trying to cut down on the time on this video, guys. So we're going to kind of roll with it and go through this stuff. <clears throat> One more little shelf sitter elf that I got. I thought he was cute, too. He's just a wooden block like. And my Dollar Tree had these this year. I, last year we got them in uh, the red and black. And this year they had them in the white and black. So I got grabbed me a couple of those. The little um, collapsible storage containers. Can't ever have enough of these. Believe me. I Everyone I've got I think is full. 
So you can never have too many of these. Um, I grabbed some dowels from the Crafter Square. Nothing new there. So I think pretty much everybody's Crafter Square probably has those. And I grabbed a couple of these. Um, the little rope lights, um, the ones I got at Halloween um, were super bright, so I went ahead and grabbed a couple of these. Um, these are really, really nice. I'm hoping they're as nice as the Halloween ones. So, all right, I think we got everything in that one. Now, oh, I'm gonna show you this one real quick. It's a little um, aroma diffuser. These sold out super quick. I went back to get um, a couple more, and they were gone within that. I mean, within a couple hours of them putting them out. So, if you see these guys, grab them. They went really fast at mine, and I don't know how well it works because I haven't opened it and um, and checked it out. But I have a feeling it probably works okay. So, it is made by Be Pure. Be pure, happier, okay? Water-free diffusing, battery-operated, continuous runtime, uh, two AAA batteries. They're not included, uh, so there's no need for water. Um, it's portable and compact. So I'm assuming you just drop your um, oil, your essential oil in it, and then it just disperses it somehow i don't know how but um i'm gonna check this thing oh okay it's got to add up to four to six drops of essential oil to the pad replace the plaid plaid name it replace the pad holder and base push the button then turn the diffuser on be sure to insert the batteries okay huh includes two pads so I've, I guess when your pads run out, I don't. I guess you could probably put a cotton ball in it. I don't know. I'll have to see, and I'll I'll let you guys know on this, and just see what it um <clears throat> if it's if it's if it works. I'll let you guys know. Set up here. And I got. A little flat, round reindeer reindeer plush. I can't talk. And cute. I figure I'm gonna give these with my puppies, maybe. Um, because there's no eyes or anything on them that they can chew off. Now they can chew on these and maybe get these off. Um, but these are made from a um. I almost feel like a velvet. So, I don't know what it's, it's really soft. Maybe a suede type velvet. It's not, it's just a cloth though. It's not real leather. Um, but these are really, really soft. I think, I think they, the puppies would like them. I'm sure the little kids would love these too. Because they're cute. Ooh, let me get you a closer look. Okay. <laughs> We got more. We got an elf. And he has a... <laughs> he has a peppermint as a belly button, I'm assuming. Is that not... <laughs> Push his peppermint. I got that a little low, but... Anyway, you know what it is. It's his belly button. But he's cute, too. I got two of the reindeer. I just thought they were cute. <clears throat> and we have a Santa Claus. Santa. Is he not cute? I don't know. I just thought they were cute. They're different. Anything different catches my eye. I don't know why, but it does. <clears throat> All right. On to the next bag. They've put their cards out. 
So I ended up getting a pack of these. I thought that was really pretty. Really pretty. Deck the halls. I don't know. That just that buffalo plaid. It just said pick me and get me, take me home. So I did. <laughs> and of course I got these two because I love the red barn. And the deer are gorgeous. But the detail on that card is super, super nice. Get that up there so you can see it. Season's greetings. But the barn and the snow and the deer, I, just, I don't know, I just thought that was a beautiful card. Okay. Next up, we have the little lanterns. Let me get it up here close. It has a little snowman on it. And I think it's the same snowman all the way around. Well, my tag is caught in this one. Hang on a minute. Well, okay, now, yeah, it is the same snowman all the way around. They're not any different. And I didn't pull my tags on these, so let's pull them and see what they do. Well, okay. Wow, that was hard to do. Okay, now you can see it. Oh, it's got a little flicker to it. That's cute. All right, let's move on. I've got a white one that has a deer in it. Like I said, same deer all the way around. Um, there is no tag in this one. Somebody's done pulled this one. Wow, I cannot cut these on. Okay, Dollar Tree. <laughs> I know you're trying to probably make stuff a little bit better, but that little bitty turn on thing, I can't move it. You see that little switch right there? That thing will not move. Huh. I'll have to keep working on that one, guys. See if I can't loosen it up. I can't move this one either. On the tree. Oops. There's the little tree. And I can't move it. I'm getting old and my fingers don't work. And it will not move. Oh well. I'm going to work on those. I got the red one to move but not the green and the white one. All right, I ended up picking up some stickers. These aren't new, they have them every year. So I got those. And I got the trees and the stars and the snowflakes. And I think I got one more. Oh, I got this one, it's got trees in it and, and the presents. I thought those were cute. And that was the same thing. Okay. I ended up getting these little uh, stocking decorations. Um, you can make those stockings right there. Can you guys see that? You got a snowman, a uh, reindeer. And a gingerbread man right there on the end. But I don't know that I'm going to make the stockings. I think I just wanted, I bought them just for the pieces to use on other things. So, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what I want to do with that. And 
I went ahead and bought some foam scatter. I just thought it was cute. I may put it in a bowl or something or in one of my little clear things. I just thought those were cute. And I've been waiting for my Dollar Tree to get some of these back in, so I went ahead and bought these because um, I'd have bought some previously, but I couldn't get enough to, to do anything with. So I ended up finding them and I bought some more. I bought a couple more of these, the little flat um, wood palette like looking things. And then I got these palettes. These do look like wood palettes. Um, I think these would make good coasters. So, or whatever we want to make out of them. But I was, when I saw them, I thought coasters. So, but you can build them and make other things out of them. I just think they're cute. But I ended up getting a couple of those too, so. I think I got three of them. I think that's all I got. Same. So, all right. All right, moving right along. I ended up picking this up because I thought it was really cute with all those peppermints on there. Here we go. Now you can see it. Is that not... I mean, I just thought it was beautiful. Um, the, just the way they've got the peppermints and stuff on there. Um, and when I picked it up, honest to God, I thought I was picking up two. Um, it's super thick. It's very well made. Um, super ready. I mean, super, super heavy duty. So, I mean, it's not flimsy at all. I mean, you can see here I'm trying to bend it, and it's it's really well made. So, I mean, I had to keep messing with it, and I thought, well, it has to be two there. There's no way this thing's that thick, but but it's one. So, if you see these, um, get you some of them. Um, they're really well made. Even if you don't like the scenery on it, you can always paint them and, and do something else with them. So, But this one I just thought was amazingly cute. The I love the peppermints, though. I think that's really, really cute. <clears throat> now, my Dollar Tree didn't have but a couple of these. And they probably got more in, and I was late to the game, and I didn't see them. So I ended up only with two of them, and I got two of the same thing, but I thought they were adorable. And that is these little soap dispensers. And they have soap in them for a dollar. They're really heavy. Um, these say fresh pine scent, and I did open one to smell it because I thought, I don't think I want pine scent hand soap on my hands. Because I thought about, honestly, I was going to pour it out and just put in my own hand soap. But the scent in this is not strong. It it actually smells okay. I'm, I can handle it. Um, so, I grabbed the two. I thought, because I do have two different places I can put these. And I just wished I'd have seen the others. Um, I did see... Someone hauled that they had a Santa Claus and a snowman. And one other, maybe another one. And I know the tree. Um, but I do know there is the tree, the snowman, and the Santa Claus. And I'm thinking there was one more, but I can't remember what it was. And I might be wrong. I might be thinking of something else. So, if your Dollar Tree gets these in, look, you know, go grab you some. Um, they're really cute. And like I said, if you don't like the scent of the hand soap, um, pour it. Don't don't get rid of it, but pour it into something. Put it in a in a gas bathroom some somewhere where you don't really you don't wash your hands a whole lot. Um, um, that way you can actually use it for something. So I'll probably put some down in the chicken house. My husband can wash his hands down there. He doesn't care what the smell of soap is. So so there's always places you can put soap you don't like. But like I said, this soap, I believe I can handle. It wasn't bad. It's not, not real strong smelling. So I think I can deal with it. Okay. These up here. And these are nothing new. I just thought I'd grab some in case I need them for some a project. So it's the big, clear, empty ornaments. 
that you can open up and stick something down inside them. So, how do you get some of those? Oh, and I missed an ornament. I guess a while ago. Well, I'm gonna put that in that bag. Okay. And I got some of these. These candles in these little jars, guys, smell amazing. Um, this one is my favorite. It is called Rake Pile Leap. I know it's backwards to you guys, but I'm going to try to get it up here where you can see it. Rake Pile Leap. This little candle has an amazing smell. I don't know... I can't describe it other than it's um it's almost woodsy with um I don't know it's unique it's got a unique smell almost a sweet vanilla-y something cozy about it um it's a woodsy cozy smell um it's, I don't know, it's perfect for fall and winter, um, just because of how it smells. It just gives you a warm, cozy feeling when you smell it. So, try this one, guys. I'm serious. You get in there and you see these candles in these little jars. like that. And, and when you're done with the candle, this little jar can be used for so many things. Um, these little jars are cute. But the, can, the candles in these jars are amazing. I don't just have rake pile leap um i had other ones i've got uh, the limoncello um blueberry something and um cranberries something i'll have to look i've already they're in an, in my kitchen so um these are the ones that i have bought with this haul so that's why you're seeing them but this one is my favorite and i don't know how many i've got in this bag so because i love this scent so much and these come in the wax melts. If you find the wax melts, grab them. They're um, amazing. I'm not kidding you. So Dollar Tree knocked it out of the park with these. This is some of the best candles I've ever bought from Dollar Tree and the wax melts. Um, like I said, they smell amazing. So if you see them, grab them, guys. They're really good. I don't think I had any other ones in that one. No. Okay, let's move on to the next bag. I don't know that my Dollar Tree had these last year. They may have, and I just didn't see them, like I said. But when I saw them this year, I grabbed some. And they had different colors in them. And, of course, like I said, I'm going to put a village up here. So, these are the bigger trees. They don't, Not the little ones that comes in those little packs with the villages. But these are, um, I would say they're six, six to seven inches. So, let's see if it told on the back. They are made by Greenbrier. It doesn't tell the size. I thought it might. Um, but these are cute. But they come in um, uh, all silver. I think there was a blue and a gold. Maybe a blue. I might be wrong. I know there was an all metallic green and a gold and a silver. But I can't remember if there was a blue one that I saw. I might be thinking of a different store that I... But um, they did different, have different colors of these. So be on the lookout for these guys. These are cute and bigger than normal. And they may have had these too. I apologize. I probably sound like a broken record. I just saw more stuff this year than I've ever seen. So maybe I, I made it to the game early this year. So, and of course I work there now. So they, they let, I knew when exactly when the truck was coming in. So that helped. <laughs> they had little cube trays with penguins. I thought that was cute. 
That's what the back side looks like. So you can see the detail. And then they had these with the bells. There's the back. Here we go and get that out of the way. Now, I thought those are really cute. And this was my favorite one. The peppermints and the candy canes. I just had to have this one. So I just thought that was a too cute. And guys, you can use these for anything. You don't have to put uh, candy in them for as a candy mold or an ice cube tray like they're saying it is. They're not. They said ice cube tray. I'm not making ice cubes out of them. I'm not uh, even gonna make candy out of them. Probably. I don't know. I may even make. I'm probably gonna take some clay. And push it down in here or play-doh and let it harden and then we can paint them and you can put those anywhere you want to so that's an idea that we craft idea we can do with these make some of these out of play-doh or clay and then paint them um, you could even make you a um, a little hole in them and hang them as those little mini ornaments all over your little the little trees you get from Dollar Tree. So, anyway, I thought those were too cute. Now, this was new to me, too. I don't know that I recall seeing this. This is Merry Christmas, and it is shaped like Santa's sleigh. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it looks like Santa's sleigh. And I thought, well, how cute. You don't have to leave it like this. You can decorate this thing. You can put uh, styrofoam or floral foam down in here. And you can put um, flowers arrangements. You can put candy in here. You can put fake snow in here and lay some ornaments around in it. These are super cute. And you can do about anything you want with these. <laughs> but it had to come home with me because it looked like Santa's sleigh. Okay. Now these are, um, I did see these last year, but I didn't get any. I don't know why. I think, I think I saw some haul them. And then when I went to check my Dollar Tree, they were out of them. I might be why I didn't get them. But this year, I grabbed one of each, at least. Um, I didn't go overboard. I, didn't, I left some for everybody else, so I didn't need all these. But these are super cute. Farm Fresh Christmas Trees. I only got one. Uh, maybe I should have got more, but I got one. These would be cute to put gifts in. Um, maybe I should go back and get more, but they're probably gone now. Um... But you could put all kinds of gifts and put that shrink wrap paper around these and make awesome, awesome gifts. These could sit on the back of your commode, your toilet. You know, and put your arrangements in them or or your toiletries in them. Um, just, you can do anything you want with them and dress up your um, bathroom for the holidays. Um, you could lay a towel across here, a little hand towel on one end um, this thing has trees all the way around. So, trees on the end says the same thing on this side. And you got trees on this end. So, it goes all the way around. And you may hear my dogs bark in a minute. I don't know what's going on. They're with me right here. But they're laying here asleep. And, of course, Abby thought she heard something. <laughs> okay. And now this one. I just thought it was adorable. And I just had to come home with me. Let me see if I can get it in here without the light ring. There we go. And it says, dashing through the snow. Sorry, guys. My light ring is going to get it. But you can see it's got red trucks. And on the end, it has a big truck. Is that not adorable? These would make awesome, awesome gifts. 
or things to put gifts in to give to somebody. I know if somebody put my gift in this and gave it to me, I would be forever your friend. <laughs> that would tickle me so much to get a gift in something like that. I just think that's cute. Okay, let's see. Let's move on to this bag. Guys, I told you to hang on to your hats. This one's going to be a long one. Here's another little ornament that I had bought. And I think I got the red one too, but I don't know where, what happened to it. So, anyway, another, another little snowman hat. I love snowmen. I love their hats. So, I think that's what fascinates me about snowmen. Are the, the different hats and the scarves and stuff that you put on them. They're just cute like that. Now, and I got one of these. And the reason I bought this one, um, I showed you the nativity scene that I bought from Dollar General earlier. Well, this is going to be incorporated into my wreath somehow. Um, this is like, you know, the, the Bethlehem star. So, anyway, we're going to incorporate this into my wreath. So, just be watching. I'm going to make a wreath. Eventually. I promise. I ended up picking up another roll of this. Um, it's nine feet on there. But it's the smaller checks of the buffalo buffalo check it's not the big check so i ended up buying a smaller one so we'll see what i'm gonna do with that i'm not real sure it just caught my eye and i got it and two more ornaments here i just thought were adorable and they just had to come home with me were these two little snowmen they're not cute I don't know. They just caught my eye. And I said, hmm, I like you. We they didn't have hats. They've got earmuffs. And I just thought that was different. So, these little guys came home with me. And I believe they have little um, grapevine arms. That's what it looks like. Or maybe sticks. But that looks more like a grapevine, to be honest with you. Yeah, because this one has the curly cues on it. From the grapevine. So, I'm pretty sure these are grapevine sticks. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see here. On to the amazing things. Oh, oh, I do have a few more things of Dollar General. It just hit me. Matter of fact, they're sitting here behind me, and I don't know why I didn't think about them. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you these things. These came from Dollar General, not Dollar Tree. It was two dollars. I got two of them. It's the placemats. I'm gonna make a pillow. Um, home. Let's. It says, "Have yourself a merry little Christmas." Super, super cute. So I just bought two. I try not to go hog wild. So, but anyway, I got those Dollar General. And one more thing from Dollar General was this. It's just a mat, a doormat. It's got the buffalo plaid on it, or buffalo check, whatever you want to call it. It says Merry Christmas. Of course, we got the big red truck with the tree. I just thought it was beautiful. Um, it's got a rubber backing, which was a plus, and it was only $5.00. So, anyway, I thought that was cute, and it came home with me. Dollar General, if you're interested. Dollar General knocked it out of the park this year, too. They had some really, really nice things. So, go check them out, too. All right, here's the good stuff. When I saw these, I was, 
I didn't know what to do because I was, I'm on a budget. I don't know about you guys, but I can't go blow bukus of money at Dollar Tree. That's I'm, I got a job there to support my habit. So, <laughs> so anyway, let's get right into these because these are amazing. And I'll have to find each piece. I hope they're somewhere around here. But looky. They got the gnome stuff in. Gnome for the holidays. Is that not stinking cute? I loved it. It's red on the back. It's awesome. I just... I was like a kid in a candy store. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I gotta have it. So anyway, I got this and I got the pot holders if I can find them. I thought they would be in here, but they're not. Hmm. Okay, let me keep looking. They're in a bag here. Here, so I have to find it. Unless it's in a bag still in my car and I didn't bring it in. Hmm. Wow. Okay, wait. Well, oh, here they are. Here they are. All right. The pot holders. And you get two, guys. Get two pot holders for that dollar. 50 cent a piece. You can't beat that. And they're stinking cute. And they're red on the back, too. And, voila. They have them in the towels. Amazing. <gasps> Who is going to want to use this stuff? I mean, you're just going to put it out for display. Because I'm not going to let anybody touch this. That's amazing. Really, really cute. And on top of that, they have the cups with the straws. So it's known for the holidays. Is that not awesome? Look at that. Perfect. And I'm not done, guys. They had it in the coffee cups as well. The ones that have the lids on them like that. And then you can remove... My thumb is sore, so bear with me here. You can remove this little sleeve... And just have it like that if you want to see everything on it. With all your little gnomes. Isn't that cute? I'm slide my little sleeve back up on mine here. Okay. And they had a different um a different truck truck one than they had last year. Last year it was red with the truck. And this year they had a green one with the truck. So I grabbed one one of these for myself. Thought that was cute too. Alright. I think this is my last bag, guys. Yep, yep. We're down to the last bag. And um and keeping up with the um the gnome theme this year. Do, do, do. Looky, 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 looky. Oops. <laughs> wow. He's got some kind of uh, sand, I guess. It feels like a sandbag in the base of his bottom here. That makes him stand up. 
but they're big gnomes. Is that not adorable? I think that is so cute. And they've glued that hat down. That hat is all glued down, and he's got a little arm right here. Everything's kind of glued down, and it goes across his nose right there in the front and the backs. Yeah, we can make these. But who can make them this big for a dollar? And see, he's got the red and gray in his hat. This one's all gray. Is he not adorable? He's all gray. And then we've got this all red one. Adorable, adorable, adorable. And they got little felt feet right here. Super cute. I had to have them. I know I can make them myself, but for a dollar, they're already made. It's right down my alley. <laughs> All right, one more thing here to show you. And I picked these up um, for crafts, and because they are the more uh, retro-y looking, the 80s, I want to say, yeah. But they're just uh, window clings. And this one has, of course, the red truck. And Christmas trees. And it says pine, pine spruce, cedar, fir. Fresh, farm fresh. Just super cute. Here's a little bug. I like the Volkswagen bug. I think it's cute. I don't have one. Um, but I would drive one. If I had to. <laughs> I just think they're cute little cars. So, there's that one. With the red truck and the little beetle bugs, what I call them. The doodle bugs. And then, I had to have these. These are just, re these are flat out retro. Um, there's no other way to describe these. Um, the old vintage Santa. You got the vintage Santa up there in the... Um, the, the wreath, and you got your vintage reindeer. I don't know if I can get them a little closer for you. Vintage reindeer. Um, your little nutcracker. Your vintage snowman is adorable. I just love that vintage snowman and that reindeer. I think they're the the highlight of this this page of window clings, so... I just think they're super cute. And last but not least, the snowflakes. I just think they're cute. And you can use them on so many things. Not just your windows. You can do all kinds of stuff with window clings. Just check YouTube. You'll see people using window clings and all kinds of stuff. So, okie dokie. I think that's it for my Dollar Tree and my Dollar General haul. I hope I didn't miss anything. I'm looking around to make sure I didn't miss a bag or... Because I know you guys would like to see everything I got if I did. But I don't see another bag. I think we're good. So... Hope you enjoyed this haul. I don't do hauls. Um... You know, I've done, I think I've done one a long time ago. Um, gosh, uh, probably last year, first of last year. Maybe for Christmas. I don't know. Um, but I don't do hauls a whole lot. But since I had so much stuff that I was just raking in my buggy, um, I thought I'd share it with you guys because it they really, really put out a lot. And I was tickled. Like I said, I was like a kid in a candy store. And I was like, somebody help me. Somebody put blinders on me. So I'm focused toward the register and I can get out of here. Because I could not stop for looking. I mean, I was just looking and I couldn't get moving. You know, I was just, um, 
something would catch my eye and I would stop and I'd look and I was like, oh my God, I gotta have that. I gotta have this, I gotta have this. I was like, wow, somebody stopped me. <laughs> so, now it all came home with me. Now I gotta find a place for it. <laughs> but it's okay, it's all gonna work out, I promise. Alrighty. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this um, gives you some inspiration to go to your Dollar Tree and find some of this stuff um, so you can craft with me when I do some crafts uh, for Christmas coming up. And, um, yep, just, um, and even if you don't like the craft I do, I'm sure somebody else is going to make a craft with some of this stuff, and at least you'll have it. So, go get it before they sell out, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Please comment. Uh, your comments and your likes, your shares, um, do help my channel grow. So, please, please comment. Um, like it, share, subscribe. Have your friends subscribe, please. Um... I love you guys. I love each and every one of my subscribers. Um, without you, I wouldn't have this YouTube channel. Um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Please keep watching. Um, if you don't like something I do, please let me know. Um, I know on a, a few of my previous videos, I don't know what I was thinking, um, but I did not turn my music down. And I know the music was super, super loud, but it was so... Um, once you upload like that, you can't go back and change it. Um, there's... I mean, you could, I guess, um, but you'd be taking the whole thing down and have to put it all back up, and so it's just, it's a lot of stuff, and I'm so sorry for that music being loud. Um, I just did not get it turned down, and I do apologize. Um, so from now on, I make sure I always go back and check and make sure my music is where it needs to be and, um, and to help you guys, so I know that gets frustrating. Um, having a music too loud or, you know, you can't concentrate while you're watching. So, thank you guys for those uh, comments. Thank you for your input. You don't understand how much I appreciate each and every one of you um, giving me uh, little tips and tricks and, you know, telling me, hey, I don't, this, I'm not real crazy about this, you know, can you do this a little different this way? You don't understand how much those little things mean to me. Um, and I do take them uh, to heart, and I will try, definitely try to do each and everything somebody asks. So, I'm going to try to do right by you. So, alrighty, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.